This is a tutorial video of how to use the tool Project Libre. It is an open source project management software. As soon as you open the Project Libre, a window pops up. It asks you whether you want to create a new project or open an existing one. Let's create a new one here. The next window asks you to enter the details of the project. Here, I will create a web design plan. The other details of the project has to be entered such as manager and the start date. There's also an option called forward scheduled. If it is selected, then the project can be finished on any day after the start date, depending on how long it might take to complete the project. If it is deselected, then the project has to be finished on a particular date. Here on the left hand side, you can add the tasks. On the right hand side, Gantt chart will appear depending on the tasks provided. The first task I want here is the gather requirements. The next design. Next implementation. Now I want to add sub tasks below each of these tasks given. For that, first I have to include new rows. To do that, click on the row before which you need new rows and click insert. I want to put two sub tasks below gather requirements meet the customer document requirements the same way i want to add two sub tasks below design detailed designs review i will add three sub tasks below implementation graphic design coding, testing. To make these subtasks, you have to indent it below the main subtask by clicking indent. Now let's set the duration of these tasks. By setting the duration of the subtasks, the duration of the main task is automatically set. I would prefer one day to meet the customer, two days to document the requirements, three days to prepare a detailed design, one day to review it, two days to prepare the graphic design, two days for coding, and two days for testing as well. Next, let's set the dependencies between the tasks. On the Gantt chart, by clicking on the task and dragging it to the next task on which it has to be followed, will create dependencies between the two subsequent tasks. In this way, you may not need to set the start and the finish dates explicitly. Only for those tasks which are not dependent, you might have to set it explicitly. Any task dependent on the previous task cannot be started before the previous task is completed. By clicking on the net network, we can view different tasks and their dependencies. Now let's allocate resources. Click on the resource menu. Here you can enter the resources, that is the people needed who will work on the project. Let's consider four different resources here, one being the manager and three people working under the manager. You can provide initials for the resources. On the resource bench screen, you can create dependencies among the resources. Going back to the task menu, let's assign resources to the tasks. There is a separate column called resources on which the assigned resources can be seen.
to allocate resources click on the specified row and enter the names of the resources if more than one resource is allocated to one task then the names must be separated using a semicolon as you allocate the resources it will appear on the gantt chart as well The workbench screen provides a view where we can see the several tasks along with the dependencies. In task usage screen, we can view the resources allocated to particular tasks along with the duration of the tasks. In the histogram view, we can see how much each resource is utilized according to the tasks they are assigned to. resource usage just like the task usage provides the details of the resources according to th to the th tasks they have been assigned to there are shortcut menus for it as project proceeds you can also update the completion of each task by double clicking on the task you can update the completion percentage If it is hundred percent complete, then a green tick mark will appear next to the task. In this way, you can plan and manage the projects. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thank you.